Hello people of the internet, my name is Big Mike and this is part 2 of Beholder. If you haven't watched the first one, check it out, it's been up for a while. Wait, what? Crime and Punishment? Repair and Punishment 2? Find the ten and vote. I thought we did that last time. What? What is it? That's the stuff, right? Did we get that last time? Come on, run. Run. Run up here. Come on. Move. There you go. Check that. That should be his stuff. I forgot his name. He has a lot of shit. Take that. Thanks. Bye. Anything in here? Let me see. Money? Oh, I totally forgot about that as well. Alright, let me see. Let me repair this. Uh, apartment number three. Yes. Move in. I think we did this last time. Oh, the autosave. Aloysius Spack. Spack. Whatever. A famous cardiac surgeon looking for a long-term rental. Guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Jones Papanido will run the cutting for a couple of weeks. Kind of looks shady. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the doctor. He seems decent, I guess. I don't know. Rent. Hi. Welcome to the family. Wait, what is this? Uh, the Ministry of Truth has noticed rising interest in philosoph philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes that the, no the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all of its forms. The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas a mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past and we, uh, if we want to progress and initiate a dialogue between the people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Good, whatever happened here. Um, I don't know shite. Call the ministry? Why? Anyone home? I need to install cameras, dude. I am low on camera money. Dial the number, I believe. Report a task. Oh yeah, because we did that, right? That's done. Money. Give me that. He's just waiting out. Oh, it's pause. All right. Okay. <laughs> He's just sitting there with a pillow in his hand. Uh, you got rid of the violet and I'll serve your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. All right, get to work. So everybody wants something now. Let me see. Uh, he wants to go to the mines again. <laughs> I think we got these already. Do you need anything? I have an issue, father. There you go. What do you want? Economics classes have started and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore and they won't, uh, don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can I ask your friend? Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. Uh, you talk to wise people. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Wasn't there a library dude in this building somewhere? What does my baby girl want? Whoop, not a table. You. Does this indicate the quest? Maybe. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. Naira? Uh, it's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? Why oh, you scared me, Martha? When did you last play with it? At home, Naira is so small to walk. It's too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Okay, what is Naira anyway? Is that a bear? Is that a? Well, it's a doll, but can be bear, can it? Can you shut up? Okay, zoomed in. This game is really noisy. The government directive. Shut up. I'm looking for a toy. Sorry, I can't do what you want me to do. But there you go, old doll. My wife played with this doll as a child, and all her daughter does. She calls it Naira, even though the name is more suitable for a cat. Talk about the doll. There you go. What's your doll's name? I miss Nero so much. We found her. There you go. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. Thought of a great name. Nero will be a minor bird under rubble, and I'll be the rescuer. That sounds some some bad foreshadowing, doesn't it? What a game! She said game, not name. Maybe it'll be better to play with your uh, leather blocks. Yeah, that just sounds better. Uh, I'll build a coal mine on the leather blocks. What the f fuck is wrong with this? Uh, find uh, books for Patrick. What does my wife want? What's her name? Anna. Domestic problems. Do we have that? I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. That's your biggest issue? Your saucepan? Okay. Alright. Ask about a saucepan, I guess. Um, so who was the librarian in here? There was some guy. Maybe this guy has it. Maybe this guy knows. Uh, let me ask this guy. Oh, they're sleeping at, so it's midnight, I guess. Midnight-ish. Hey, the dog is here. Hi. Wait, if he's here... That means <laughs> we can go in here. All right, I just need to keep an eye out for... I thought I had these, dude. What the hell? Let me just keep an eye out. Parts watch dumbbells. All right, let me see. Continue. Check the TV. As long as he's done there, I'm fine. Wallet towel stamp album. Okay. Check the chair because I didn't do that. Oh, he's coming. Uh, coom, wine, and a book. Just a book. Some random... Okay, come on, leave. My compliments. Trade. What are you selling today? Take a look. 
That's your shite? Okay, I'm not interested. I want to sell stuff. Let me sell everything I got from the evicted guy. Sell, sell. Ooh, got cameras. Oh, wait. Are those the cameras you put in here? Is he, is he in here now? I didn't check. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Alright. Anyone else home? They're just standing there, doing nothing. Oh, he's leaving. They are leaving. That means I can get in here. First of all, I should install cameras. How many do I have? I have one tier two. And the other one's a tier one. That's fine. Let me install all of these. That's all I can do. In this room? No, there we go. That's another one. While I'm here, let me check these, which is called a bed. Uh, towel, book, watch, another book. Wait, what is this? Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, tobacco. Coom, toothbrush, and red dress. Thanks. Letter, chess. Oh, give me that. Chess, diary, and a theater mask. Interesting. Diary, towel, watch. Boring. Let me put that here. What are you supposed to do? Find books. Alright, comb, books, wallet, book, toothbrush, eyeglasses, I don't know. Can I take any of these books? Just random books? Like, here, Patrick, we read this. Um, I think we're almost done with this. Uh, wallet, blue shirt, blue tie, passport, book, robe, foreign letter. Alright, let me see what's in here. A ship model, cool. Turkish coffee pot, also cool. Handbag and a slouch hat. Not interested in that. Good. So that apartment is done. Is the dog home? Let me see. Dog, you home? Uh, you know home. Okay, let me get in here. Is he down here? No. <laughs> Shit. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You didn't see that, did you? Hello. Just occasionally checking. Uh, who's this? Oh, the Ranix. She's going down. She was thinking about food. Fuck, go in. And he is thinking about what? What is that? Towel, green tie, eyeglasses, chess, blue shirt, watch, cookbook. Is he coming up? Let me go, just in case. I have so much money. Let me get... Three, another one, and a couple of these. Both of them are down here. I need to get the cameras installed, I guess. He has a quest. The dog has a quest for me. I need to talk to Claus, I guess. What is this? Is this correct? Oh, ask about the guy, right. Well, I do have time for that, right? Let me just install cameras. I can ask whoever I want. For example, let's go. Oh, she's coming up. Hello, I'm introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the manager of the building. Mark Rennig is a respected archivist. Uh, I have to live with this disgusting apartment. I'm sorry, I guess. It's not mine, technically. Uh, ask about the saucepan. Why? Why? What? Why? I mean, the game is paused, right? Are we paused? I think we're paused. Yeah, okay, so I can ask questions. My wife usually cooks soup. To be honest, her saucepan is rather small. Uh, the latest news, I don't care. Ask about books for Patrick. He should have them. Mr. Mark, <laughs> you're an educated person. Where can I find textbooks on economics? Can't you spend your money on something like uh, more useful than books? Says the former archivist? Thanks, but I doubt my son appreciates your advice. Ask about Klaus. Why is this not capitalized or what is this? I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. What do you want to know? He's standing right next to us, just saying he's he's right there. He's right there. Tell the truth about the order? I uh, should probably not do that. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. Uh, I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. Ask what happened to him. He was sent to jail, obviously. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Ask Klaus about Klaus. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. Interesting. I have books from when I worked for the counting bureau. Cool. Everyone should pursue a high education. Too bad few people agree. There we go. Thanks for the books, buddy. Ask about the saucepan. Yeah, ask about that. Do you have a saucepan? Can you leave? You better talk to my wife, Maria. Let me see where your wife is. That's the Rannick person. Um, talk with Shimmer's wife, talk with Rosa Rannick. She's up there, I know. That. Let, me, let me just ask her. I want to ask you about your husband. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Xerx... Xeris? 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 Sounds Greek. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Why does the conversation just end there? Ask about the saucepan. Do you have this one? No, dear. My husband and I have lived alone for many years. We don't need anything large. Ask about the son. Ask about the husband. Didn't we just... No, it's the husband. Mark, right? Ask about Mark. He's been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Ask about the son. Uh, oh boy, he's become a boss. Haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. No, she's sad. Also, how old is she? Okay, um, yes, let me know if you need anything, blah. Talk to... Shimmer's wife. Can I just wake her up? Good thing we got her instead of her. the husband. I let me get this. Trade. What are you selling? Take a look. Wait, anything in here? Is this pause now? 
no, it's not. Sh uh, so she's running here. Oh, I thought it was paused. Hi. I thought it was paused. Get acquainted. Uh, name is Carl Blah. Nice to meet you, Maria. Did you bring your family? We just moved in. Ask about the saucepan. But first, I would. Hi, I'm the building manager. Do you have, do you have a saucepan? I need a saucepan. Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow your saucepan? I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. She just has it on her. And just in case, you know. Wait, wait. I mean, just. Good. No, no, there it is. You take it. Don't let her see my camera. It's better. Uh, okay. There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone. We don't touch this. Please accept this as a housewarming gift. That's so nice of you. Ask about the husband. What we're supposed to do in 18 hours. How's he doing? He looks upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Like taking photos. That's what she wrote. All right. So I'm gonna let you sleep now. I'm gonna. Where's my wife? They're all sleeping. Can I wake them up? Hello, in the middle of the night. Hey, I got your saucepan. Hey, Patrick. You don't want to talk to me. I talk to you whenever the fuck I want to talk to you. Talk, talk, and about school books. There you go. You found anything? Yes. Here, take this. Yay! I've never even dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Um, Nathan is still there, and we talk to her. What, Carl? Ask about the saucepan. Or talk about the saucepan. Have you found it? Yes. There you go. Let me get... Wait, Nathan. Wait, 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 wait. Hi. Can I get stuff that's illegal? Foreign currency, singing, books. Uh, it's illegal to own. Yeah, you know that. Apples. <laughs> Get the Apple flashback. Okay, what are you doing, buddy? What do you want? I must profile the guy. Didn't I? Didn't I profile him enough? Hello. Meet. I'm Carl the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Aloysius Schback. A physician. Meet. Ask how it's going. Aloysius Solitude. Um, ask how it's going. Are you okay? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. Who are you going with whiskey? <laughs> your best friend in cold weather. All right. Hey, wait, 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 don't run away. Uh, your solitude. What about that? Every request, a very private one. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe looking at me, but um, I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. What can I do? Get you some deodorant? <laughs> Your wife is amazing, Carl. Uh-oh. Find me a woman. Okay, maybe. Um, should be a good woman in uh, the bathroom and the kitchen. Okay, how would I know? Let me profile the guy, I guess. Uh, must profile claws. Sh move. Shimmer. Oh, this profile, right. We know something about him. Re. Profile attendant. Profile claws. He lives in... Fuck. Apartment number... One? Is that claws? Yeah. Number one. He's male. He lives with Maria. And he is a tobacco salesman. We have a lot of shit about him. There we go. Boom. Did we do what we needed to do? Call the ministry and report. Why are you sad, Martha? What's up? Ministry of Order. It's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Claus Shimmer. Uh, excuse me? Ask about Shimmer's wife. Ask about eviction methods. Um, actually, both. What happened to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. Uh, okay, talk with Shimmer. We'd be fine with him moving out. Can we just tell him to, hey, you know what, the government wants you out, you better leave. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. Why would that be better? Also, what would he be violating? I guess. Okay, so that's something we'd have to do in the next episode. For now, um, that's pretty much it. Let me check what there actually is left. Um, find a way to evict Claus Shimmer from apartment number one. I think... Lonely Alocious. Find him a girlfriend something we would have to tend to. Again, that's stuff for next episode, so thank you everybody so much for watching, have a good day, have a good night wherever you're from, and goodbye.